You alright there ladies and gentlemen, it's Terence through the steering wheel. Because I can't, well I haven't got my GoPro so it's going to be the iPhone. Um, someone said to me, uh, unqualified people do the job just as good as qualified people. Um, so what's the point? Totally get that, of course they do. I was unqualified at one point and I was pretty good. Um, the qualifications do not make you good. Let's get that one now down. Qualifications don't make you good. They make you legal and they cover your insurance. Um, when I say, when I talk about unqualified tree cutters versus qualified ones, I'm not sitting there saying who is better because a qualified one can be totally shit as well. And um, that's down to the person. Some people are better than others at things. We all try and do the same things, but some people are better. Um, the qualifications just mean that you'll be insured, or at least you know you, if you're unqualified, then an insurance company will insure you, which they will do. They will uh, insurance companies will insure unqualified tree surgeons. What they won't do is they won't pay out when something goes wrong, which could prob probably happens because you know you're not you haven't been shown the right way of doing things. You've learned how to do it, but not necessarily the right way. There was loads of things I learned on my tree courses where I, at first I was like, nah, this is crap. And then when I actually sat there and thought about it and got over the, well, I don't need to be qualified. I got over that of being forced to be qualified. And I realised, actually, damn, I'm actually learning some really good things here. And they are, they've made me more efficient and I'm earning money. And that's where I justify the cost of the courses. Anyone that's a professional tree surgeon or claims that they're a good tree surgeon and doesn't buy the basic certificates of competence, which cost 500 quid each or something like that, if you can't invest, let's say, let's say five grand if you can't invest five grand into yourself for professional development you, who, what, i don't even know what to say to that it's terrible you know um look at it as a year plan a 12 month plan invest five thousand pound into your certificates over a 12 month plan while you're still working you have to take off a couple of weeks here a couple of weeks there boom but then you then you're a professionally qualified tree surgeon if there is such a thing but the mptc certificates all the larger ones i prefer mptc that's what i've grown up with um you know it is what it is. I, my, my brain is terrible. I'll be thinking of one thing, talking about it, and then another thing pops in my head, poof, I'm gone. On to the next subject. So I have to try and keep on point and focus, but my focus is very, very... It's difficult. But being qualified is very important. Um, it's not about being good. Being qualified and being good are not the same thing. They don't mean the same thing. I've had some people say to me, oh, you're talking about... You're, you, all you're talking about is the liability and the legalities. Because ultimately, when the shit hits the fan, the only thing you're interested in is how bad am I getting it? You know, if something goes wrong. Um, the uh, the ethical or the moral or the... I don't know what the question is about the, who is better or worse or is there any point to it? It's irrelevant. You know, there's plenty of good unqualified tree surgeons, but when they do or if they do have an accident, <laughs> they're going to be in a lot of trouble. They're going to get some serious fines. Um, and if they find out their insurance is invalid, then whoever they've injured or whatever they've broken, it's going to be a it's going to be a clusterfuck. At least when you're qualified, insurance goes straight. Are you qualified? Yes. Was you qualified for the task? Yes. Right. Boom. Okay. So they've already there's already two avenues they can't get out of, and they will try. That's their job. Their job is to not pay, and your job is to make them pay. So by having all your ducks lined up and having all those boxes ticked, it gives them less room to get out of paying for you, which protects you. Because if they don't pay and you were found to be negligent, i.e. unqualified, basically what happens is you're going to be liable. So it's prison time, or it's company gone bust time, or it's you know house lost if you're not limited, and it's all, it's all kinds of bad that you just don't want. 